Hello everybody, I'm John Wright from JM Capriola and today I'm going to go over uh, wrapping your saddle horns and the different types of horn wraps that we have. So at Capriolas we offer buffalo horn wrap, elk hide horn wrap, and your regular mule hide, which is a chrome tan. Uh, in the mule hides we offer them an inch and a half and a two inch. The difference is that between these uh, you'll use an inch and a half for a dally horn like what I have here shown. Uh, the two inch is typically used for your post horns, your larger size horns. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to wrap. This is an example of what they look like before we sky them. Uh, as you can see, it's squared edges. There's no beveling to them. We always soak all of our hides before we go ahead and uh, wrap them but we bevel the edges with the skyver and take it down. By doing this, it's what I say the correct way or the Capriola way, is it allows you to get a clean, smooth wrap when you are wrapping your horn. So we're gonna go ahead and take this inch and a half wrap that I've already soaked and skived, and we're gonna wrap this horn uh, for the saddle and get it completed and out the door. So what I do is I like to make a slot or an oblong shape. Step one, I run it from the front of your gullet and up through your handhold. Taking the loop, dropping it over the horn. And this right here is what I call just a little piece of buffalo shaft hide. It's a cheater. I'm gonna slide this under here with the tongues open so our finish, when we get done finishing the wrap, we can put it through and pull it. So I'll go ahead and get it pulled as tight as I want. I like to wrap our horns this way coming out because it saves the fork of your saddle. When you're sliding a lot of rope, forks of saddles get eaten up quite bad. When you wrap them this way, it protects it and it makes your fork last longer. So I always start at the base as tight as I can get it. And I slowly work my way up. And you can see by beveling the edges how everything stays pretty smooth here. That's two wraps. I always like coming over the top. Some guys do, some guys don't. Just a little bit right here. and slowly make my way back down, keeping everything smooth. So like I said, this is where this little cheater comes in. <clears throat> I'm going to slide this in Grab my pliers, and that sneaks it right through. From there, a lot of times we'll take a ball peen hammer or a hammer, tap around it just to smooth any of these out a little bit. Uh, we can take a wrap around it, crank it down a little bit more and pull on it but this will give you the basis of how to wrap your horn the capriola style now if you're left-handed we would do the opposite so you'd reverse and you'd be wrapping from this direction going the opposite of what i've showed you